Here we have the current stock market analysis for D-Wave Quantum Incorporated, stock ticker QBTS. Before we begin with today's chart analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts below in the comment section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So we're looking at the one hour time frame here. Each candle represents a one hour trading period. And as we can see, the stock actually fell uh, relatively flat on the day today, which is a little bit hard to uh, even believe. I mean, this is such a volatile stock. We closed, this looks like we closed up by 0.35%. It's almost hard to believe that the stock would move uh, by that small an amount uh, from an open opening basis to a closing basis. But as we can see here, uh, some of the prior price levels that we've been watching have turned out to be incredibly predictive in terms of their accuracy. So specifically what we're looking at here uh, was this prior resistance zone, uh, which came in right around uh, $6.75. We can zoom in here a bit further because as we can see here, uh, we're starting to see another failure in this area. Uh, after that major decline uh, with the share price gap, we did see share prices sort of rally a bit into this area. That was a bit of a relief rally as we can see here, but then share prices did fail here again and then created another price gap to the downside. This is ultimately when we created these lows near $3.74. And now that we are moving into these price regions, once again, the real question is whether or not we are going to be able to start to break these resistance zones. So as we can see here, there are several different pieces of evidence, several different technical indicators that are sort of aligning right in the same area here. So specifically what we're talking about uh, would be this region of historical resistance, which as I said, is seen right around this area here, 676. And then uh, now more recently, what we're seeing here uh, is this 100 period exponential moving average. So that would be this blue line here. And since this is the hourly price chart, this would also mean it's the 100 hour exponential moving average. And as we can see, you know, we are definitely starting to encounter, you know, selling pressure, increased bearish momentum as we start to approach this level. So that's the real question at this point. Will we be able to break through this level? Is the stock going to start to fail in this area? Uh, or are we going to start to see a major breakout here to the top side? Because the reality is that once we start to break through these types of price zones, uh, the follow through can be quite significant. We can see very substantial moves to the top side if share prices are able to generate some momentum and possibly even trip some stop losses in the process. So there are many people that are currently bearish on quantum computing stocks right now. There are many people that are making the argument that these don't have any current applications that are commercially practical uh, or applicable to uh, sort of real life experiences. So if that is true, uh, it is possible that we could start to see a larger number of short sellers enter the market. And it does look as though we're starting to see this type of price action right as we're moving into that, you know, sub $7 level, roughly just below that $7 area. Now, if we do start to see further failures here tomorrow, the next level of major support, at least on a short-term basis, would be found right, right around $5.30, as we can see here. From there, we could be looking for something below $5, roughly $4.85, uh, at least from a short-term perspective. These would be the main price levels that I would be watching. If we are able to start to generate some upward price momentum and we are able to see share prices start to move higher, uh, one level to watch uh, would definitely be seen right around $9.20. Because as we can see here, uh, this was that prior breakdown point. Uh, last time stocks entered into this region, we started to see that massive price decline. And in, in those types of situations, when we test those areas from the bottom, they're expected to work as a resistance zone rather than as a support zone. Taking a quick look into the stocks indicator reading on the relative strength index, what we can see here is a bit of a cloudy picture. I mean, there really isn't very much to work with here because as we can see, there were two prior trend momentum readings. Uh, this one would have been in the positive direction. This would have began uh, right around the beginning of September, first half of September. And as we can see here more recently, uh, during you know the first half of the, the first half of this month, uh, roughly January 7, uh, we did start to see uh, a downside break. So essentially this invalidates this trend momentum reading which was posting in the positive direction. This is ultimately the trend momentum reading that allowed the stock to form its all time highs. So since then, the stock has broken this area during its movements into the downward direction. However, since then, when the stock started to roll over out of oversold territory, we saw the same thing happen to the negative trend momentum reading that was shorter term in nature. So this was really the price decline from the all time highs. 
And as this occurred, we did start to develop another trend reading. But as we can see here, there was a very steep slope on this trend reading. So it's very easy to break these uh, types of trend lines. Uh, they're not very sustainable. They can't, they can't maintain their position for a very long period of time. So it was not very difficult for the stock to break through here from the upward direction. Now, unfortunately, this leaves us with a very cloudy momentum picture because as we can see, all of these prior trend lines uh, momentum ratings have been broken. So we're sort of in an aimless position right now. And it really does look as though the stock needs to develop a new trend momentum direction in order to give traders a better sense for how to position themselves. So looking into the more advanced forms of analysis that we conduct in the members only discord trading room, what we can see here is the development of two different bullish harmonic patterns that are starting to form for this stock. Now, to a large extent, these uh, these two price patterns have already started to play out. Uh, we really wouldn't make much sense to uh, position uh, new, new trades based on these current price formations. But uh, as we can see here, these do project uh, upward price movements, and we have started to already see some upward price movement into the, into the upward direction. So not totally surprising that this would occur because... As we can see here, these two bullish harmonic patterns uh, did both form in the same area. And then in addition to that, they also started to uh, generate themselves just as the stock was moving into the minus two standard deviation price channel, which would be this uh, downward sloping uh, green line here, which would be this downward sloping green line here. And then in addition to all of that, what we can see if we zoom in even further, uh, we can see that the stock actually started to form a uh, fractal formation too. That would be this red arrow here. So we had several different technical signals that were sort of pointing in the same direction here. And then in addition to all of this, what we can see in the moving average convergence divergence is that uh, the stock actually started to cross above the zero line right around the same time. We were starting to see share prices roll over out of oversold territory. And then now more recently, we're starting to see positive momentum that has been building and then the, the MACD itself has crossed over its zero line, which is a bullish signal. Now, to a large extent, a lot of these price movements have already taken place. So whether or not this means that the stock will continue to move in this direction is really another story. And that is another question. So uh, for, for people that are interested in learning how to trade these patterns and interested in learning how to conduct more advanced forms of technical analysis, I do recommend taking a look at the Discord trading room because this is where we actively trade these types of price patterns in real time and all of our trades can be followed. So here's the current stock market update for D-Wave Quantum Incorporated, stock ticker QBTS. Our high value trading strategies membership is currently available for a limited time for only $9.99 per month. These high conviction investment strategies are characterized by superior risk to reward metrics that target massive market beating returns over time. Join now to outperform the market, lock in this special introductory rate of just $9.99 per month for the entire lifetime of your membership and start trading stocks with the pros.